What's going on, socialites? Ryan here. Coming with you with another video. We're going to be going over monotype teams and ideas for the new Scarlet and Violet. Let me know in the comments if you've been playing Scarlet and Violet either on Nintendo Switch or maybe you've been playing on a simulator such as Pokemon Showdown, which I'm using here for the team building. Took me about 30 hours to play through the main story. I'm still doing like some of the post-game stuff. But yeah, once I get that all done and uh, grinding, start making teams, hopefully have some Wi-Fi battles for you guys. Uh, maybe after Thanksgiving, you know, by this weekend or next week, get some Wi-Fi battles up. But yeah, I wanted to stream the game, but, you know, a newborn and a two-year-old... It just couldn't be done without me not playing the game to the pace that I wanted. So anyway, yes, I am done with the game. Yes, we will have some actual Nintendo Switch content. But until then, I want to talk about a format near and dear to my heart. Not that I don't enjoy all formats and multiple formats, but monotype. I figured, you know, early in a generation, some people might want to be making a monotype team to either go on the ladder, play with friends, maybe try to do their adventure with it. So we're going to have, probably do six videos. I'm going to do three types in each video. I'm going to do a team, and then I'm going to do like some bench players. So we're starting off with the Firewater Grass Core, you know, the three starters, which I do have on each team. Spoiler alert. And we'll go through that right now. So this is the fire team that I got. We do have... The Skella Dirge, who's been doing some really good work in OU, thanks to that unaware ability. Terror Type Fairy, I did give Terror Types all these, I'll explain it. So, Terror Type Fairy gives you a resistance to dark. There are a lot of good dark Pokemon out there right now, so changing your Ghost Type to dark, really nice. Able to resist that. And Fairy, just a really good general typing. They, they don't want to bring in steel types against your fire attacks and there's not really a lot of poison type pokemon for moves we've got torch song that's your signature attack 80 base power always raise your special attack that allows you to not really have to invest into special attack but you're going to just keep getting stronger and stronger every attack you get hex to go with your will-o-wisp you burn something and now your hex is doubled in power so it's hitting at 130 base power Really good, and then slack off for your reliable recovery. Uh, just have to remember, if you have PP Maxis or if you're playing on Showdown, you only have eight slack offs, so got to use them wisely. You can't just be at like 20% be like, oh, I can slack off spam here. No, you, you want to make sure you get the most out of those. But yeah, just a very good wall. Definitely uh, probably the best wall that the fire types have ever gotten um that i can think of for sure let me know if you think there's a better defensive fire type out there right now going from defense to offense we have one of the new legendaries chi yu fire dark type choice scarf on this the base 100 speed you'd like it to be a little faster its ability beads of ruin gives a static minus 25 percent to your opponent's special defense so that means almost like getting a 25% buff on your special attack. Um, depends on their EVs. If they're maxed out HP, it might not uh, feel like that. But yeah, just hits really hard. You got Flamethrower and Dark Pulse for your stab. Terror Blast Water. So, in Monotype, you gotta do your coverages. In regular laddering, you'd probably just do Monotype Dark or something just to hit really strong. But Terror Type allows you to really cover for your weaknesses here so stuff like ground uh rocks are not that great but we'll get into rock when we get to that video um fighting just like being able to turn into water really just doesn't give you like any weaknesses right and then i wanted uh memento just to be able to kind of like have a switch out move um against pokemon that might be trying to set up or that you need to weaken to get one of your other guys in to stop let me know though, like Terra type, you, you can always like change out the Terra types, right? I just think Terra type water lets you hit a lot of things like pretty effectively that uh, otherwise your fire team wouldn't be able to hit, such as 
well, I just said it, like rock and ground and other fire types. Like in the fire type mirror, that could be huge. Just having a choice scarfer that can just blast through with a bunch of uh, basically 120 base power water attacks when you factor in step. Next we got Rotom. Gotta love the Rotoms. They always provide a lot. This is one of the ways you can hit water types on your fire team. Heavy duty boots, of course. There's so many hazards in this meta. Uh, boots on like a team like fire or bug or flying is pretty necessary. But Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, Nasty Plot. So again, just another way to spread some status to work with your Skeleturge and Hex. Slow some stuff down, maybe Nasty Plot up and fire off some Thunderbolts or some strong Volt Switches. Like, the meta's not super fast, right? Like, there are some fast Pokemon, but unless you're, like, playing against a mono ghost team or a mono, like, dark team, that's where, like, most of the speed is right now. Torkoal, set up the sun, of course, weakens opposing water attacks, strengthens any of your fire attacks, uh, gets up your hazards, removes your hazards. This guy's really, really kind of like a linchpin in any, any fire team early on right now. Uh, Terra type grass resists your ground attacks, resists your water attacks even more. Um, I wouldn't want to terrestrialize this guy. Like I'd be looking more at like Chi Yu, Skeledurge, even Rotom. Just go to Electric for even stronger Thunderbolts, maybe. One of the another new Pokemon, Scovillain. I love this guy. I've been using him in my playthrough. Just nice to have two of your like key types in one Pokemon, Fire and Grass. Choice Specs, Chlorophyll, so it goes good with Torkoal. You got Flamethrower and Overheat for strong Fire Stab in the sun. Giga Drain uh, to keep you relatively healthy if they're trying to chip you away with priority. And then uh, Terra Blast Ground. Um, just looking for ways to like cover some uh, stuff here, but... This is one of the only ways you can really break through like defensive Toxapex with this guy's Terra type ground, so pretty good. And having a ground type on your team is never a bad thing. It's one of, one of the best types ever. So if you can turn this guy into a ground type, then you got choice specs, still able to just destroy things. And the sun overheat's gonna cook everything. You could even do uh, just Terra type fire and really start frying stuff with. Uh, overheat like even uh like unboosted i don't know why i have this I, I i was thinking of doing like a mix set but this is uh obviously just better but yeah but if you did terror type fire and was firing off choice specs overheats in the sun like those are gonna just it doesn't matter what switches and it, it's gonna cook everything so i i can see that too uh you can definitely do terror type fire and just be super strong. And lastly, a Volcarona, just a good setup sweeper, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, Psychic, got the boots on there. Quiver Dance, of course, set up. Try to just get most, as much out of it. Um, Terratype Grass again. Just trying to think like, you'd want like some extra oomph on the Giga Drains maybe. Like what, what, what are they gonna bring in against your Volcarona here with this set? You lose to steel types, but unless it's like a terror type steel type, like the rest of your guys cook the steel type. So unless it's like a late game steel type, it doesn't matter too much. Other than that, the, the coverage should be good enough for everything. Some other fire types you might want to think of. Uh, we got Iron Moth here, uh, which is the future version of Volcarona. Choice Specs, Fire Blast, Sludge Wave, Energy Ball, U-Turn. Uh, you could, instead of Terra type Fire, you could do like Terra type Grass again on this one. Just because they will try and hit you with ground attacks, that would make you resist them, powering up your energy balls as well. Max out special attack, special defense, or speed, sorry. Uh, put a little bit in maybe special defense here. Uh, I did I did a minus defense nature just so that your U-turn still have a little bit of oomph to them. Talonflame. This can be good if you want like something a little bulky to remove hazards as well other than Torkoal. Uh, Defog, Roost, U-turn, Brave Bird. With the flame body you might be able to get some 
burns on people going for U-turns or something. Not as good as Torkoal, but again, if you really feel like you need hazard removal, like you don't want to use Colossal, and that's basically the only other thing. And then the Emo Blade Boy, Sarah Ledge, Life Orb with weak armor, so you can get speed boost here with the Swords Dance set. Uh, Shadow Sneak, Close Combat, Bitter Blade. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Haven't seen him do too much. The 85 speed stat it's a little awkward, so you, you really need like a weak armor hit and then you're cooking. And you could probably even go adamant there. Um, if you're gonna try and get the weak armor hit and survive. But moving on, we got the water type team. Starting off with Quaquaval, who is our new water starter, water fighting. Put him on a choice band set. With the terror type fighting, just make sure close combats nuke everything. And other than like, if they bring in like a ghost type, like that, uh, that close combat is gonna do so much damage, even even to something like a fairy type. And of course, the Moxie U-turn for momentum, Brave Bird, Aqua Step to get speed boosts if you need that. Um. You know, because again, off the choice band, you're doing so much with the uh, Aqua Step. I could even see if if you like the Aqua Step choice band, you could definitely go water for your tear type just to make the Aqua Step super strong. That's definitely not a bad idea. Palafin, we all know Palafin is nutty. Just look at these stats. 160 attack, great bulk, etc. Uh, the bulk up set's been really popular, so this is probably what I would use. Bulk up, taunt, jet punch, drain punch. You just stay alive so long, just let your Jet Punch do everything. Terror type water just to make Jet Punch so strong. Iron Bundle for some natural speed here. Uh, put the heavy duty boots on so you're not getting chipped by too much. When you're getting swapped in and out from any hazards. Again, a lot of hazards in this meta. Does he get the spikes? He doesn't get the spikes. He's not like regular Deli Bird. Doesn't get the spikes. But freeze dry, flip turn, blizzard, taunt. A pretty solid uh, lead. Um, along with Palafin. Like you could do something like Palafin. Or Iron Bundle into Palafin. I don't know. Something like that. But he just hits so hard with that 124 and the 136. Crazy speed. Iron Bundle. Then we get to uh, a couple defensive options here. Unaware Quagsire. Really strong. Um, terror type steel. Just makes it almost unkillable. This is your hazard setter, stealth rock spikes. Got earthquake for an attack and recover. Pretty standard stuff, especially defensive. Because you got your physical defense with tox effects. The regenerator. Haze to stop setup sweepers. In case your quagsire is already kaput. Recover, poison jab, toxic. Pretty standard Toxapex set there. Uh, not a lot that can really break through this guy. And whatever can break through this guy, Rotom's here to stop any ground types. Not going to be able to hit Rotom. Choice Scarf, Electric Attacks, Hex for if you get uh, some Toxic out there. That's really the only thing that Hex works with. But Ghost types are really good. I could expect a lot of gross Ghost types. So you could even just do like Shadow Ball. Isn't bad either. And then trick just to neutralize opposing walls. And then if you want to put rain, I don't think it's too necessarily on water teams right now, but of course it does make your water attack stronger. So you could do something like a defensive Pelipper. You could even do choice specs Pelipper. That would work as well. Uh, it doesn't get defog anymore, which really hurts. Like there's not really a good spinner. You could do a Quack Revolve spinner. So if you wanted to do Quack Revolve, as a spinner, like, what what would you do here? Would you do, like, a salt vest? Or just do boots, maybe? Do something like Aqua Step, Close Combat. Probably still want to keep Brave Bird, right? And then Rapid Spin. Like, you can maybe do something like that if you want to fit Rapid Spin on here. But yeah, Pelipper would just be if you want the rain and maybe you want Barrascuda, Choice Band Barrascuda. 
uh, to do a lot of stuff. Dark type for the extra strong crunches. You could also do a uh, psychic type with the psychic things if you really want to break through Toxapex because that should allow you to two hit KO the Toxapex very easily even if they're max defense on opposing rain or poison teams. And lastly we got the grass team here. Uh, starting off with Miascarada, the new grass starter. Uh, went with an assault vest here. I was thinking of like oh choice sets with trick and everything. Um, choice sets make a lot of sense with Protean but I do want to be able to switch some stuff up here. Um, and there weren't a lot of hazard setters for grass, which we'll get to uh, towards the end of this team. So I'm not really sure what you would put here. Then if you want spikes, maybe you go boots on Yaskarada just so it's not taking a bunch of damage here. Knock off Thunder Punch to hit flying and water types. You turn to switch out spikes just to get some hazard support. That might be the way to go. Breloom is back, of course. I like the Life Orb. Uh, Life Orb Close Combat does so much. Poison Jab, Mock Punch Spore, Steal, so that you become resistant to the Flying, Fairy, and Psychic attacks that are going to try and come at you. I like Jolly, but you could definitely do Adamant. I think Adamant's fine, too. Uh, Spore's not crazy right now, but on a grass team, it's always good to have a Spore user. Another good Pokemon to take down uh, any flying type teams going on. Rotom, uh, got the Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, a Will O Wisp, and Trick. You, you can try to do this bulk here. This one I don't think is as good as the other two Rotoms that we just talked about, but again, having something with momentum like Volt Switch. Um, is really good. You might even instead of like Thunderbolt, you, you might want to keep Leaf Storm on here just in case you're going up against a team that has, like say you're on water going up against water, you might need uh, something to break through a Gastrodon or um, you know, something like that because you, you, you don't put a lot of your stab moves on these guys, right? Like there's a couple of over here but usually like grass knots isn't that great offensively so you want to use it for its other other typings amoongus for defensive core sludge bomb foul play clear smog to uh stop setup pokemon and toxic pretty standard stuff there max defense arboliva i didn't know what to do with this one i was like oh should you do like a assault vest set just make it like your super special defense with a Giga Drain for your recovery. Um, you know, kind of do like that. But I wanted to be able to use like Leech Seed. But I think like Leech Seed is fine. Uh, it has some good coverage moves. Dazzling Gleam, Earth Power. Sets up your grassy terrain too, just so you keep getting recovery. So it's definitely not like a bad Pokemon, it's just awkward, right? Uh, Terra type Ghost, because fighting types, since it is grass normal, uh, that'll stop the fighting types from hitting you. And then you might be able to knock them out with a Dazzling Gleam, because you are super strong. Like 125 special attack, really nice. So we'll see. Let me know how, how you like to play Arboliva, because I haven't exactly figured it out yet. I definitely think, like, like I said, like an Assault Vest set. Isn't like a bad idea. Like, would you just do Terror Blast on your last one? I don't, I don't think this is bad either. Like, your your special defense is really good with that. And lastly, got another Assault Vest user here, Toad's Cruel. So Toad's Cruel could be so great. Ground Grass, really interesting typing. Would be so good if it wasn't for its ability, Mycelium Might makes all of your status moves have lower priority ignores the target's abilities but i don't care about that i don't want to be going last when i got base 100 speed if i could have a different ability and be able to use spore and be able to use taunt like taunt and spore all that stuff could probably instead of flash cannon go with the rapid spin here i, I like that better just for hazard removal but yeah, like it, it has some 
like toxic spikes, you know? It has some good utility moves, but I don't want to be going last when I can make use of my 100 base speed. So that's why I want to be able to uh, hit with my Earth Powers, hit with my Dazzling Gleams. Flash Cannon might be better than the Dazzling Gleam. Just to hit Ice Types. Ice Types could be a problem. Uh, that is also why we're Terror Type Fire. But if you wanted to do Steel instead, Terror Type Steel, so you still get the bonus on Flash Cannon, you could keep the Dazzling Gleam. Now, something to think about. Like with Terror Types, you can do so much, right? The you, you could spend hours going through every type almost and saying like, oh, why that would be good on a certain, certain set. But yeah, to Toe Scroll I think is cool. Just, it has good stats, right? It's, it's Tentacruel stats. It just, the ability is shit, so you gotta go offensive with it. And lastly, for some extra Pokemon here, we had Scovillain on the Fire type team. Uh, without having an Sun Sunsetter, it's not as good on the Grass type team. You can't use Moody on Showdown. If you're playing with friends, sure, you could use Moody, and then it becomes a lot better. But uh, Chlorophyll, Sunny Day, Terror Blast Ground, Overheat Flamethrower. The Terror Blast Ground, again, is so that you can break through Toxapex. But let's say you uh, were just playing with friends and want to do Moody. Change this out for something like Protect. Defenses. Oh. Right, because you're just trying to live long enough to let your Moody do something. So, Flamethrower, Giga Drain for recovery. Uh, still keep the Terror Blast, Terror Blast Ground if you want. Um, you don't have like a lot of other good like special attacks. You could go for something kind of neutral, like Zen Headbutt as a third option. That way, if you are getting like a bunch of attack boosts for some reason, it works out that way. You can maybe even go like this. No, something like that. But I, I would see that more chlorophyll and you'd have to set up your own sunny day or have another Pokemon with sunny day, which isn't the best option there. Uh, just going over this Pokemon, Brute Bonnet, because it is a Paradox Pokemon, so people might be wondering, hey, is it any good? Grass Dark, really tough typing. The Terra type Flying protects you from the fighting and the bug types, if you want to go with that. Super slow, so you want to max out on your nice HP stat there and your good defenses. Like, you'll you'll stick around. Um, Choice Band Crunch, Close Combat, Terra Blast Flying, Sucker Punch for like an end game. I could definitely see someone do something with Brute Bonnet. But there are so many Dark Grass types. Here's another one. The Legendary, Wo Chien. Another Dark Grass type to go with Brute Bonnet. And to go with Meow Scarada. Uh, Cac turns also in the game. But he's definitely like the worst of all of them. But yeah, Wo Chien. Very bulky. Leftovers, Subseed Set, Foul Play, Giga Drain. Tablets of Ruin. Gives your opponent a... Minus 25% attack effect. So, like, max defense. He's already got a good special defense. Like, I could definitely see Wo Chien. I just don't want, like, a million dark grass types on my team. But Wo, Wo Chien could definitely uh, take a slot of, like, either Amoongus or Arboliva. I could see that for sure. So, yeah, let me know what you think of the teams. Let me know uh, what mono types you're using, which ones you want me to talk about next. I think next I'll probably do like electric, flying, and normal, something like that. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to do them in like pairs of three, so you could expect like rock, ground, steel to all be together. Stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. And as always, stay classy, society.